Today, a new Matrix Resurrections poster was published. A few days ago, there was another poster shown on HBO Max, made out of images from the trailer. But this new one that has been posted on social media holds many secrets. So today we will be analyzing the new official Matrix Resurrections poster. Welcome to Matrix Explained. Welcome to the desert of the real. This is the first poster showing the main characters of the film. We start with Yaya Abdul-Mateen II. It has been confirmed that he will be playing Morpheus, a new version of Morpheus. He is wearing his signature circular glasses, similar to those used by the original Morpheus. He is dressed in red and green. His clothes are peculiar because in the trailer we don't see him wear these specific clothes. However, a few weeks ago, some photographs of the Matrix Resurrections Funko Pop figures were published. One of the figures is of Morpheus, dressed in red, green, and a little bit of blue. Maybe we will see him dressed in these colors in the film. Red will be his official color, or the color he will wear at the end of the movie. Remember that red symbolizes being awake. Knowing the truth is a reference to the red pill. Interestingly, Morpheus is the only one not dressed in black on the poster. Although in the trailer we did see him in a black outfit. He is armed with a submachine gun, the weapon he uses when storming Deus Ex Machina's building in the trailer. Erendira Ibarra is next, the possible red pill we see in the scene where Neo passes through the looking glass with bugs. She is dressed in black, she has several tattoos, and is armed with a handgun and wearing black glasses. At the other end of the poster, there is Jessica Henwick, who also has a handgun, wearing somewhat circular glasses, and with her blue hair. The clothing that Henwick and Ibarra are wearing is what is known today as tech wear, and it contrasts with the OG style of clothing that was used in the previous trilogy. We move on to Trinity, Carrie Ann Moss dressed in black, with a black coat similar to the one Neo wore in the previous movies, and with black sunglasses. We didn't see her wearing this outfit in the trailers. And lastly, there is Neo, Keanu Reeves, who is wearing his iconic black coat that is open and looks almost like a cape. Notice that Trinity and Neo have no weapons in the poster. The last time Neo used a gun in the movies was during the subway station fight scene in The Matrix. From that moment on, he never again used a gun. This is because Neo, having the powers of the One, no longer needed guns. What's interesting about this poster is that Trinity doesn't have weapons either, which could indicate that she may also have powers of the Integral Anomaly. Neither one of them wear their black sunglasses in the trailers. Yet in this poster, and in the Funko Pop figures, they are. Maybe the two characters will be wearing their iconic wardrobe at the end of the movie. A clue that confirms that Neo's glasses are not solely for marketing, and that he may wear them in the movie, is that the designer of the glasses, Tom Davies, made a tweet showing them off. The tweet says, and I quote, I went from being a huge fan of the films, to a huge fan who created all the eyewear for the Matrix Resurrections. End quote. Another important element of the poster that could tell us something about the movie's plot is the code. This code uses a custom typeface or font designed by Simon Whitley, which includes mirror images of half-wit kind of characters and Western Latin letters and numerals. This is the Matrix computer language. But in this poster, it is the first time we see other conventional symbols or letters. It is as if the human and machine languages were coexisting. Perhaps this is a reference to the coexistence of the truce between man and machine, or it's a reference to the old code that Bugs Operator mentions in the teaser trailer. See, come in. Looks like old code. Also, the poster shows the golden code, which passes through the characters. This golden code, or light, is the greatest mystery in the Matrix. We saw it at its peak when Neo arrived at Machine City but it was never explained. Perhaps we will have more details about this mystery in Matrix 4. And the most intriguing part of this poster is its tagline, Return to the Source. It is a reference to the architect, who gave Neo the option to return to the Source to restart the simulation. The door to your right leads to the Source and the salvation of Zion. The door to your left leads back to the Matrix to her and to the end of your species. Neo chose not to return to the Source, he is the only anomaly that did not complete the path of the One. Neo followed his own path. Returning to the Source is to fulfill the purpose that was intended by the Architect. But Neo chose Trinity, 
This tagline on the poster could mean that Neo will have to go back to the source, perhaps to the place where the architect was to destroy the Matrix for good. After this poster was published on social media, the Matrix Resurrection's official Twitter page posted a tweet of the teaser trailer with the following words, It's time to re-enter the Matrix. By liking this tweet, you are automatically subscribed to receive personal messages. We received the first message, and it says, Request for simulation removal accepted. Simulation start date, August 2021. Removal immediate. Today is the day your Twitter feed woke up. Keep your eyes open for more. The interesting thing about this message is that it mentions simulation removal. The date on the tweet is the date that Matrix Explained Twitter account was created, August 2021. So if your Twitter account was created on a different month, you will see that month on your tweet. This means that the sim they want you to disconnect from is Twitter. That is, social media is a false simulation of reality, a topic that we have already discussed in another video. We believe that this is an alternate reality game, or an ARG, where we will be giving clues to follow and missions to fulfill in the future. We will be paying close attention to social media. But do you agree? What do you think about the new Matrix Resurrections poster? At Metacortex, we're crafting the future today, working at the forefront of a new reality, virtual, augmented, crafted for you with proprietary machine learning and AI. We are among the top software companies in the world because our employees know they are more than just themselves. They're part of a whole. That's why they've repeatedly voted us as one of the most respectable software companies on the planet. Come join us today, Metacortex, for us, you are the one. For Matrix Explained, please leave a like and subscribe. And thank you for visiting the Desert of the Real.